I've been thinking a lot about risk recently, partly because of the new scar on my face and partly because I'm sitting on Pulpit Rock in the south of Norway with nothing between me and a 600 meter drop. It is a very, very long way down and it is very windy, but how risky is this really? I mean, millions of people have visited Pulpit Rock. It's not a difficult hike. Families with kids come up here all the time. And yet in living memory, only one person has ever fallen off it. Walking up here is probably more dangerous. Driving to the base certainly is. And yet this has been called one of the world's scariest tourist attractions, and it is. Humans are bad at assessing risks. That's not news, you know that, but would I still be here? Would he still be sitting on the edge if the consequences were different? Let's say, theoretically, that at some future point, humanity has cured all disease, including ageing. No one gets old, no one gets ill. Technically, you are immortal, but you could still get hit by a car or fall off a very high rock. I did some maths. An average, modern, healthy Western person has about a 1 in 2,500 chance of dying from an accident every year. It's a rough estimate, but those odds mean that 1 in 5 of those immortals won't live to see 500 years. One in three don't see a thousand. Sure, that's a long life, but it's not immortality. You still die. Transhumanists would say that, well, they're able to back up their minds. All they need to do is live long enough to live forever. That's Ray Kurzweil, but if that turns out not to be an option, then the only way to survive would be to avoid all risks. Now, in English, we use the word live, not just to mean our bodies working, but to represent experiences like this. It implies that hiding away in a bunker, avoiding risk, is somehow being less alive. But if you really had literal immortality, if you thought you'd survive into eternity, would you live like this? Take those actually quite scary 1 in 2500 odds every year, knowing that at some point your number will come up? Or do you hide yourself away? Never leave a, a safe bunker, knowing you won't interact with the world, but knowing you'll grow old with it. You will find out what the future holds. Ultimately, which is more human? The desire to experience or the desire to survive? I don't know the answer, and I suspect it's somewhere in the middle, because some old part of my brain with millions of years of evolution guiding it has already made the decision for me because I am sitting on this bit of the rock and not out there. That is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Did I enjoy that? No, no.